Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Remember the Flowers. We're, we're here with, uh, with a, a, a king, a man. You know. <laughs> uh, a human walks in. His attire reminds me of Arte Artemis's. Does he really need to wear a coat like that all the way down here? He flashes a smile my way before moving past me. Wait, something about him is familiar. I've seen this man before. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Dario. Dario? The descendant of Darius? He's here? If I was still in with the Resistance, I could just finish their work for them. Oh my, Artemis wasn't lying. You're quick to scare, Lance Kreger. I gulp and lay my ears back. What the hell did Artemis tell this psycho? I'm, I'm sure this embel embellished, embellished a tad. <laughs> you know how he is. I thought I'd get a good look at you myself. I look at King. Uh, he shakes his head. Um, well. Daria reaches into his pocket and then hands me something. It looks like a letter, at least I think it is. I've never received one before. I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but I had to deliver this to you personally. From your father. From my father. Dario is still smiling, but my heart drops. Daya, I don't understand. You're in luck, Lance. It's not every day my father requests an audience with... workers... Nevertheless, attendance is mandatory. To s <clears throat> see to it, you make his meeting your top priority. Should you miss it, you will be executed on the spot. You are also not allowed to return to the surface without proper supervision until he deems you worthy. I'm sure you understand. Daria pulls out a remote control with his free hand. It looks similar to the one that Artemis had when, he when we were in the car. Oh, okay. I know we just met, but I wanted to give you some advice. Artemis only plays with his toys. I break them. Dario casually extends the letter towards me. My paws shake as I take it from the sly human. I'm not breathing. I'm too stunned to even try to. There's a good boy. I love it when you folks know your place. I'll see you later this this week, Lance. Try not to get yourself killed in the meantime. Oh. He's kind of a lad, don't you think? As quickly as he came, the human walks right out the door. Everyone in the room is stunned. I have to remind myself to breathe. When I do, I struggle. Damn. A meeting already. What? What the fuck was that? Take it easy, you're fine. Are you serious? Do you know what that man is capable of? Better than anyone. I guess we have. Uh, you have a different perspective. You're damn right I do. Do you know how many of his men I've had to fight? That explains the scars on your face. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. I guess you're not all bite. The comment is so out of left field for me that I don't press, that I don't process it right away. When I do, I bare my teeth. You don't know anything about me, or what I've been through. Spare me the details, Fido. The bottom line is that you can't turn down that invitation. You think I don't already know that? I grab my Arcadia collar. Call R. It's all because of this thing that I'm stuck here. Careful. It'll shock you if you tug it. I'm sure it will. Will you quit your whining already? It's getting embarrassing. <clears throat> King stares into my eyes. Fuck, this isn't me. I can get out of any situation. I always do. I just need to think of this, uh, this rationally. What I can do... Uh, what can I get out of... What can I get out of this ordeal? Okay. I think back to Dario, his white hair. It reminds me of... Cyrus. What's that? 
If finding Cyrus means getting you and that weasel off my back, then I'm ready to get this over with. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I don't have any need for brats on my team. Get moving, wolf. I look over the letter in my paw. Using a claw, I rip the top open. Inside, the ornate piece of paper along with a metallic keycard. There's a time and date. Five days from now. There's plenty of time to think of a game plan to bust out of this joint. Ah, I see. I see. We're getting out of here. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, it's been a week since we rescued, since we were rescued from Golden Requiem. I it was I wasn't as bad as I wasn't as bad as I initially thought. It wasn't as bad as it. Okay, okay. Um, but I'm still being uh, held for treatment. I wasn't as okay. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Due to the extent of my injuries, I had to ask for a reschedule for my meeting with Titania. Crystal informed her of the situation. Luckily, Titania was more than willing to oblige, considering the circumstance. But she couldn't give me a concrete reschedule date. I hope she doesn't back out, Crystal said. Uh, she would keep in touch until then. Anyway, I've been stuck in Vita's apartment. Apartment? Okay. While I'm recovering. Recovering. Uh, they're as uh, intense as ever. Aww. Okay. I need you to keep still while I feed you. I groan, but do as I'm told. My throat was pretty badly bruised because of my encounter with King, but it's gotten better. I can't eat solid, solid food just yet, but at least I can still eat something. The tubes going to my stomach before, uh, before were a fun experience. Vita spoon feeding me some medicine. You're making good progress, but you still shouldn't eat solid food for another day or two. Day or so. On another note, it appears your stay here won't be much longer. I saw, I let out a sigh of relief. Thank God. Not that I haven't enjoyed our time together, but I'd love to not be confined to another room again. Vita chuckles. Not so fast, Cyrus Cantwell. There is something more we need to discuss. While running tests on your heart, I noticed there was a... There was extensive damage. I can only assume this has to do with your fight the other day. No, that doesn't surprise me, I guess. Please explain to me what you mean. I fill in Vita on how, in my panic, I had to use my perception ability much more than I was used to. Vita's expression changes from curiosity to worry. They close their eyes and appear as if they're t trying to tell me something. This isn't the kind of news I'd like to deliver, but from what I saw, this could impact your remaining lifespan. Do not forget, your artificial heart is like a battery. Like any battery, overuse can drastically diminish its longevity. I'm sorry to say this, but you may have knocked a couple years off of your life as a result. That was something I was afraid of. It was not an ideal situation, but you did what you had to do to survive. Promise me you will be more careful in the future. That, or seriously reconsider joining the resistance. You can't do that, Vita. I've made up my mind about this. There's no living a peaceful life in a world where I'm always hiding, and that doesn't just apply to me. I cannot argue with that. But I appreciate it, and everything you've done for me. Think nothing of it. I rub my tender neck. I can feel the medicine doing its job. It's a strange, uh, it's a strange but soothing feeling like none other. How's, how's Aaron? He's doing fine, last I heard. He's a little, a little shaken up, though. Can I see him? Maybe in a couple of days. You must take care of yourself, too. I think I can manage that. Honestly, your inability to feel pain seems more detrimental than useful. You broke a few ribs, almost among other things. If you move around too much, you could reopen old runes without realizing it. Please just rest, for once in your long life. I don't have a response for that. I never... I've never been one to sit still, after all. I think back to that day at the black market. I've had an uneasy feeling since then. Why did Aaron leave me alone? 
<laughs> that was... What was the, uh, intent? What was the intel he was trying to get? Was it really so important that I had to be left behind? I should be mad, but I'm more worried than anything. Wait, should I be mad? I've been doing all this training to deal with situations like this. We might have gotten hurt, but my first real fight went pretty well, all things considered. Right? No, I don't know that. I, I don't think others will see it that way. If I look at it any other way, Aaron screwed up. Big time. I still haven't told anyone what, what really went down. Before I can continue with my thought, Vita's door opens. A familiar hybrid struts in. Zubzirus, I see you still look like hell. I probably feel like it too, but I wouldn't know. Heh, <laughs> even so, you look better than I thought you would. <laughs> I have a great doctor taking care of me. Flattery will not get you discharged faster. And you and I both know we're not a doctor. We're not doctors. <laughs> Maybe we should go to school and study together. Funny. I'll go brew us some tea since we have a sudden guest. Oh? Kanto comes over to sit at the end of the bed. Silver says he's coming to see you when he gets back from his current mission. Kanto sighs. As soon as he brought you here, he was out the door in a hurry. That sounds like him. It really does. So, how was your first proper fight? Was it everything you thought it would be? And I sit back in my bed to recount the events leading up to my stay. It was nothing I'd ever experienced before. It lasted an eternity, but also felt incredibly quick. Which doesn't make sense when I say it out loud. Were you scared? To an extent. Cautious might be the better word. What did scare me was seeing Aaron like that. I've never seen him so beat up before. I thought Karen was pulling my leg when she called him. Called me. I went to see him earlier. Oh, that was probably Kanto in saying that line, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoops. It do be that way. I went to see him earlier, but he was asleep. It's not much, but he looked peaceful while sleeping. That's good. I know he has a hard time sleeping in general. He needs a good rest. Such a hypocrite. Vita carries a tray of teacups to the both of us. Thank you. Remember to... Sip it to not agitate my throat. So you do take things I say to heart? Vita, I... Relax. I'm joking. Could have fooled me. I feel like I'm studying for another doctorate with how much I've been lectured today. Lately. But I can imagine staying here alone with Vita sounds worse than any fight. The dragon chuckles. What do you want, pussycat? Hey, don't call me! Visiting hours are almost done. Chop chop. It's two in the afternoon, and since when do you have visiting hours? Since my current visitor started getting on my nerves. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure, buddy. And Kanto takes out his inventory sphere. Then I'll keep it short. Kanto types away on the screen. Silver and Karen filled me in on what happened when they found you. The only thing is, they didn't see exactly how it went down. And Kanto takes another axiom from his screen. The port is crackling with sapphire blue light. What did you do back there, Cyrus? Uh... Can you be more specific? <laughs> Kanto swipes on the screen of the axiom he pulls out. The screen is distorted as hell. This was recovered from the severed arm they found in the alley. The cleanup crew scrubbed away most of the evidence you guys left behind. They almost threw this away in the process, since it's a well-known fact that axioms can't be hacked. Or so we thought. Akanto takes, uh, tries to navigate the screen. He's able to move between screens, but it's difficult to read anything. I do see a familiar face. King's, to be more specific. That's King. He was the one we fought. Which is why I need you to tell me what happened. I'm not sure how you did it, but anyone can access this axiom now. With, a, with enough time, I bet I could even dig into personal files. Maybe even the inventory. I take a sip of the tea before clearing my throat. Well, 
It wasn't on purpose, I'll tell you that. I give Kanto the rundown about my experience with the Lodestar bullet I fired. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I did it out of desperation. Kanto places King's oversized Axiom down on the bed before pulling something else out of my out of his inventory. It's my new gun. This was the weapon that fired it. Right. I nod. I'm pretty sure it's new weaponry that Resum is cooking up. That's what the dealer told me. You can put whatever you want in the chamber. The gun adjusts itself to accommodate the output. So you fired an actual lodestar with this? I didn't even know you had one. <laughs> yep, the dealer said it was a swipe that swipe from transit on its way to Tensia. Nice see. Cyrus, do you mind if I keep this gun for a while? It's mine! It's my gun! <laughs> Why? I'm going to see if we can reproduce it. We store lodestars down here, too. If we can replicate what you did, or even refine it, we could end this war with Resum once and for all. I'm not sure I follow. Information is power, Cyrus. If we get enough uh, axioms, we could reveal to the world exactly how Resum operates. Kanto lifts up King's axiom again. This is going to be a deliberate pro- uh, del- delegate process. If I, if I screw up, it could set us back a decade. You and I both know we don't have that long. You're telling me. Kanto stands up from my bed, my hospital bed. Now I'll write up an actual report, but since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna slap your name on it so you can give you, <clears throat> give it to her yourself. Huh? I didn't exactly discover it. It was an accident. Yeah, accident or not, we wouldn't have found it without you. Other than escaping, you don't have much to your name. You have a meeting with Ten Titania soon, don't you? Take the win. Use this to your advantage. Don't worry. I don't mind giving this to you. You've been a great help. Kano shuffles the gun and King's Axiom back into its own screen. Hold on. You're not leaving, are you? So what if I am? I need you to babysit Cyrus Cantwell for a couple of hours. Excuse me? I have errands to run and things to buy. So, order them on your axiom. I also want to stretch my legs and take my own advice. I need a break. Seriously? I think I'll be fine on my own. I know you're going to try to leave the second I walk out that door. <laughs> I won't be gone long. A couple of hours isn't exactly a short period of time. I have some board games you two can play while I'm gone. Lit. Let's go. That's not the point. I have things to do. I'll tell the fox that you abandoned Cyrus in his time of need. Kanto bites his tongue. I chime in to save the hybrid from himself. Actually, I had something I wanted wanted you to look for me. I got some old tech and I wanted to see if you could could yeah, could fix it. <laughs> like what? Now I'll be off, then. Have fun, you two. Wait! Before the dragon could stop Vita, they exit the door. Fucking! Sorry you got roped into this. It's whatever. Kanto plops down back onto the hospital bed, pouting a bit. <sighs> He's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm just kind of staring at his shoulders and, like, arms, though. I, I, I know what I like. <laughs> well, what did you want me to look at? I would my Axiom screen and take out the game consoles Dad left for me. My dad left these for me from the fall. I tried turning them on, but I think the batteries are dead. One of them can be recharged, but I'm worried they won't be able to hold the voltage of today's time. Kanto extends a paw. I place both of them in his palm. They look a lot smaller when he's holding them. His annoyed attitude starts to melt away when he inspects the consoles. Huh. I've never seen something like this before. Probably the last ones in existence. No kidding. Do you mind if I open them up? That makes me apprehensive. 
Don't worry, I'm sure I can put them back together. I just need to know what I'm looking at. I uh, bring my knees up to my chest. All right, just be careful. They don't call me a pussycat for nothing, you know. I chuckle at that. Fair enough. Oh, and there is one more thing. I open my Axiom screen one more time to take out the gun Lance gave me forever ago. As you... What? As you are most likely aware, my memory isn't what it used to be. Ugh, I remember this. Need me to unlock it finally. Might as well, right. An extra weapon in my arsenal wouldn't hurt. Sorry for giving you this extra work suddenly. And right after I offered you free services too. Wow. Kanto chuckles and gives me a thumbs up. I'm kidding, don't worry about it, I got this. I nod, my memories from the days I spent with that wolf. It can be so fuzzy at times. Alright everyone, I think I'll end the part here, so I'll see you guys around.